the hardest thing to be right now is a stud. And I'm finna tell y'all why. Listen up. So we can't be too girly because we're masculine, and if we do, we get called a femme. But we also can't be too masculine or men gonna think that we want to be a man. Can't have feminine friends because they think that we all want them. But also can barely hang with dudes because they all ended up wanting us and we don't want them. Our clothes have to fit loose, but not too loose like a dude, but not too tight like a femme, so I gotta figure out how to hem. I get called a, if I wear a bikini top, but I can't walk around topless because I can't do that either. You walk in a girl's bathroom, they think you're a boy. You walk in a boy's room, they look at you like you're crazy. Can't have tig on bitties or itty bitty titties or fat ass. And we don't have friends because studs don't even like each other. Can't be sassy or I get called a femme. So I'm just going to create a sassy sub group. So if that's you, comment below. I ain't gonna lie, with this type of stuff I be seeing on the internet, I'm confused too. I remember when studs used to look like little Boozy and Manny Fresh. Now y'all be wearing makeup, y'all post like get you a stud that can do both. Why are you confusing us like that? Why are you doing both? You said you wanted to cross the street, cross the street, but now you talking about you want to walk on the yellow line. You walk in the middle of the street, you lie but it get hit. Stud box is still box. I don't give a damn, stud box is still box. Come on now. You committing a lot of traffic infractions. I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't put myself in them type of situations. But uh, if that was me, I would have called in a UAV that day. Now, if you don't know what that means and you too old, go ahead and get your grandson or your, your son and replay what I just said. With me saying that I wouldn't particularly uh, put myself in that situation is because those are usually illegal. You can't really hurt nobody. While you're already committing a crime. If there's any police officers here, tell me how that works. I'm going to end it by saying this is what jealousy looks like. Do you like white girls? I love white girls. White girls are feminine. They're caring. They come in different hair colors, different eye colors. They have their own unique touch to them. I think white girls are beautiful. Just like I think every race of girls is beautiful. I'm just not into hood rats, regardless of what color they are. I think women can be classy in all colors, and white girls can be classy in their own respective light. The comment section was flaming this man for what he said, but I don't knock you for liking white girls. I like how you cleared it up at the end. You know, you don't like hood rats. Hood rats come in all shapes and sizes, all types of races. You have white hood rats, Chinese hood rats, Black hood rats, Spanish hood rats. And I agree with you. I don't like hood rats neither. Your manly essence should not be wasted on a hood rat. Listen, I'm going to keep saying it. I know it's about 25,000 of you guys that watch these videos that still haven't subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. Come on now. We almost at 100K, man. We almost at 100K. And follow me on the gram. Follow me on Instagram. The mother of my child bashed me in the back of the head with a mason jar. I forgive her. Me growing as a man, I have to realize how serious pregnancy hormones is and pregnancy anger. And also how I'm not perfect. I admit I've done... Whoa, 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 playboy. Abuse is abuse, my brother. My wife was pregnant for nine months and she ain't hit me in the back of the head with a mason jar. Would, nah, bro, that is no excuse. Things to provoke it and I just got to learn how to prevent it. You just got to learn that in any relationship, space is always needed. Just because you're in a relationship with somebody, that don't mean be clingy and all up on them all day. Y'all still have y'all own missions in life. 
Make sure y'all always stick it to y'all purpose. Then everything will balance out how it needs to. Peace. The moment you allow your woman to bash you in the head with a mason jar and not leave that situation, you basically told the future abuse is okay. Blink twice if you need help. I'm sorry, brother. I'm not following. I see the message you're trying to go with, but no, bro. No, that's not okay. Abuse is abuse. I know it's a lot of dudes out here getting beat up by their girl, but they not going to go to the police because you grown-ass man. How you allowing your woman to beat you up? Y'all seen what happened to Johnny Depp? Uh, hey, these boys go again. I know, I know that hurt. <laughs> I know that hurt. He won again. Oh, the, the pose is crazy. The pose is crazy! <laughs> oh, my man finally won. I don't know if it's just me, bro, but these videos be hilarious. <laughs> these, <laughs> these two dudes are hilarious. Oh my god. I don't know about you guys, but I think this might be the most flattering joke set I've tried on so far. So I wanted to show you guys. It's from Lost Boys. Oh, I know what it is. It's the Lost Boys Lost Boys Lost Boys Lost Boys Lost No, she didn't. No, she did not. <laughs> Did y'all see the recall on that? A thick curvy girl, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. I got the leggings in an extra large top, and then the top is in a large. I might have been able to get it in an extra large because um, there's a little spillage, but <laughs> it's fine. Um, but yeah, they're just so comfy, and I feel like they're flattering. I don't know. What, what do you guys think? <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I... I don't got no comments. Um, shout out to you, ma'am. This is the truth about respect. People only disrespect people they don't fear losing or they don't fear the consequences of disrespecting you. Meaning, if you don't stand up for yourself or you're not in a position to walk away, people are going to consistently disrespect you because they don't need you. Thanks. Think about when people are the most disrespectful. It's when they need you the least and they're the most willing to walk away. Thanks. It's when the relationship went bad and they met someone different. Or they're working at this company and they just got another job. And now they let everything f don't care what they say to their boss. The key to preventing this is two things. One is to become so successful and have so much leverage in life that people fear losing you. And they always treat you with kindness and respect. The second is when someone decides to take that chance, make sure they learn their lesson. Oh my God. I've been saying this for so long. There's a level of fear that's associated with respect. If people fear losing you, they respect you. He's using normal people example. Now I know a lot of y'all that watch my videos, y'all live in the hood. And respect in the hood is different. Respect in the hood is fear of bodily harm. <laughs> Respect goes both ways. If you want people to respect you, show respect. But also have some respect for your person to not put yourself in a disrespectful situation. What does that mean? What does that mean? That sounds like a whole bunch of word gymnastics. Well, 
If you know there's a certain environment where disrespect is unavoidable, don't put yourself in that environment. If you know there's an environment where you're going to be forced to react, do not put yourself in that environment. I usually go play ball at a park, and these dudes out there be getting disrespectful. I'm talking about grown men calling other grown men bitch. If a grown man call you a bitch, I feel as though your response should be to punch him in the face. Simply because if other grown men see that this grown man is disrespecting you and you don't do nothing about it, well, now you fool. Now, everybody in the vicinity feel as though it's okay to disrespect you. You become a punching bag. Somebody having a bad day? Oh, I'm going to disrespect this because I know he... So if I was you, don't put yourself in that predicament. Get away from that environment. Because those type of environment could lead to you losing your freedom.